Animal advocates say someone is shooting the wild parrots that have become iconic in the San Gabriel Valley. Yeah, over the past few weeks, wildlife experts say they've gotten reports of more than a dozen of the colorful birds found dead or injured. KCAL News reporter Lori Perez joins us now live from Pasadena, where a local group helping to treat these parrots. Lori? Yeah, this is really awful. We saw pictures today so graphic we cannot even share them of dead and injured parrots. Wildlife experts say they've never seen anything like it and they are begging for it to stop. Okay, so it looks like it's right here on this. This is the latest victim of someone who Cleo Watts says is bluntly hunting parrots in the San Gabriel Valley. She says a woman found it this morning in Temple City, telling Watts she's found five others dead in the last two weeks. Another one, another one. I'm just like, oh my gosh, this, this is too much. Since late October, Watts says her nonprofit Wild Animal Rescue and Rehab Center, Cleo's Critters, has been flooded with winged patients in need of care. Veterinarians have recovered multiple pellets x-rays leading them to the ammo. Broken wings, missing wings. One just came in yesterday that had half his wing missing. Um, broken legs. Uh, I mean, a lot of them are shot down dead. At our Pasadena clinic, Watts team can treat some parents. The most seriously hurt are sent to SoCal Parrot Rescue in San Diego. Kim Bakker is one of the vet techs helping to triage the wave of injured birds. But to see these poor bloodied birds with exploded wings or anything else, I know it's graphic, but to see that that's something you can't, as I say, unsee. They say they've reported the trend to police. The wild parrot population in the area is thriving. Though experts say it's unclear why exactly they're here, there are thousands that call the valley home. And Watts admits they can be a lot. There's maybe about 2,000, two maybe a little bit more um, that reside in the area and I know that in numbers they are very, very loud. But some locals like Catherine say that doesn't mean you can shoot them. She was devastated to find this parrot shot down in her backyard on November 5th and heartbroken when it could not be saved. I couldn't understand why, who, what, when, where? Where would somebody be that could shoot a beautiful bird like this for, and for what reason? There is no reason, obviously. Now, the parrots that can be saved will be released back into the wild. Aside from the birds, this group is worried about someone shooting a pellet gun in any neighborhood, period. They are hopeful someone or someone's security camera can catch who is responsible. We are live in Pasadena. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. Lori, thank you.